school, the Tigers, the black and orange. In 1987, they had a bad dude on the mats at heavyweight. And that bad dude is our guest here today. Sir, if you would, tell us who you are. My name is Lawrence Woodford Jr. Um, wrestled for Fire Creek from uh, 85 to 88. And uh, got lucky, won a few state championships. <laughs> You're a two-time state champion, 1987 and 1988. And we have both match videos. Of course, this is your 1987 review. And you add to the tradition of Fern Creek being a great wrestling program. They have three team state championships, 75, 84, and 2015. And I believe they have 36 individual and like we said, you account for two of those. So we have to ask the question, how does a young Lawrence Woodford Jr. find wrestling at Fern Creek when you're in high school? They come up to you and say, hey, you're a pretty good-sized fella. Come out for the wrestling team, or how does it work? Exactly. Uh, my football coach introduced me to the wrestling coach. It was uh, uh, Coach Carter who was the mm -hmm. Fern Creek football coach. Uh, Tim Dench was my uh, wrestling coach. Never even knew they had wrestling in high school. And I said, no, they wear tights. I'm kind of nervous about wearing tights. And I was a freshman. I was sitting in sixth period lunch when they approached me. I said, no, it's for a bunch of sissies. I was really blunt. And then he said, well, you come out, wear your pair of shorts and tennis shoes. You don't got to go buy wrestling shoes or nothing. And just trust me, you're going to love it. I went out to practice uh, the one day that week. Never missed another practice. That's awesome. Yeah. That That's a great story. That, that really is. And I guess they would have won, uh, Fern Creek would have won the team title when you were in eighth grade because they won it in 84, correct? Yes, I was in eighth grade. They were I, undefeated, matter of fact. I, I, I've heard a lot of stories about that uh, 84 Fern Creek team. They had a lot of good dudes on that team, a lot of good wrestlers. Yeah. So you start as, and of course, being a heavyweight, we kind of guessed you played football. But I'm going to guess you were what, lineman, offensive, defensive lineman? Yeah, I was a defensive lineman and offensive lineman was for you? a little. Yeah. I got you. No, that's – and that's what, you know, newer parents, newer people to the sport – they're getting their kids into wrestling, and they'll come up. They'll say, you know, you know, uh, little so and so is tackling so much better, or little so and so is able to, you know, uh, get off the get off their block so much better. I was like, that's what wrestling can do for you. I mean, you you start them at a young age, teach them how you know how to uh, do a single leg, but you teach them how to use that head, how to use that shoulder and drive. They're going to be pretty good tacklers. You teach them how to move their feet. They're going to mm -hmm. be pretty good linemen. I mean, it's no secret that teams like, you know, your Johnson Centrals, your Christian Counties, your Sheldon Clarks, all those schools, Trinity, St. X, you know, they're such a good football program, and they have a lot of kids that wrestle for them too. Yeah, yeah. They complement uh, each other, wrestling and football. It, it, it so sure handy. does. Yeah. And the um, I believe – now, we'll, we'll get into your state tournament history here. I believe – that I found in 1986 as a sophomore, you come in third place at heavyweight, correct? Yes, sir. That's, yes, that's sir. what I thought. But this is your 1987 video, and the, the beauty of this series is for gentlemen like yourself, families that you've created, whether it's kids, grandkids, spouses, whatever, that finally get to see just how good dad was at one point, right? Yes, sir. I, you know, uh, I wasn't always, uh, you know, the, the, the older man of the house. I, I was the heck of an athlete when I was in school. Now we can prove it, right? But 1987, you're a junior, heavyweight. You're in the finals, and you're wrestling Lance Kidwell from Trinity. So two yes, Trinity boys or two Louisville boys going at it. 
Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, I believe if my Louisville geography is correct, Trinity, the actual Trinity High School and Fern Creek High School are about eight miles somewhere thereabouts apart. You go down Bardstown Road to Breckenridge, and it's right there, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you go all the way over to Shelbyville Road. And that's what I thought. So you you got a you got a Fern Creek guy, a Trinity guy meeting at Atherton, getting ready to getting ready to throw down, right? Yes, sir. And you know, it should be also be noted that 1987 had some good wrestlers. Your Jeff Evermans, your Mark Olmans, Dominic Black won it at 185, most outstanding, went on the University of West Virginia. I mean, just some you, of course, this had some great, great wrestlers. Um and you know you you add to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull up your match video, and there's uh, you you guys are looking at Dominic Black and Roger Holloway. Of course, Dominic's video is on the channel, but this is your review video, Mister Woodford. Let's go back to 1987. All right. And look at look at that young man right there. Man, I was skinny. And, of course, you're wrestling Lance Kidwell from Trinity. Now, the match is going to pick up in the third period. The video that I got just doesn't have the first and second periods. But here you go. You're on the bottom. And look how crowded that gym is. Yes, sir. Now, were you... You, you don't look to be anywhere close to 275 pounds. You look to be more about 240. Is that correct? Am I right about that right there? Yeah, I was 226. Okay. And, you know, the, did you have a lot of, like, classmates, a lot of friends who were watching you this year? Oh, yeah. Yeah, my whole family, classmates. Yeah, it was pretty bad. It was nice, man. Did uh, did any of the Hopkinsville guys try to recruit you to come down there? Say, hey, come wrestle with us. Oh no, far away. Uh, I, I'm I'm kidding. I, I got a lot of friends in Hopkinsville. I just made a sound. I know they were a good team there, '85 and '86. Yeah. I wrestled Garth Hearn in my yep. uh, freshman year. Yeah, Gartha, he he's a his videos on the channel. Gartha's nineteen eighty six uh, state yeah. champion. So we're going into overtime, and I kind of found this interesting. Is you know they let you guys have a breather here um, before the overtime started. I kind of found that to be because nowadays in wrestling, now as soon as the third period ends, we go right into overtime. There's no break. There's no anything. So who's your coach? Is that Mr. Jennings right there, one of the coaches? Yeah, that's uh, uh, Richardson and Todd King. Okay. Oh, that was Todd King? I I've heard about Todd King. Oh, yeah. He was a monster, too. He's a good wrestler. Yes, sir. Now, from the neutral position here, what was your like? Was you a, a thrower? Was you a double leg guy, single leg guy? Uh, I used to do the high hug. crotch. High crotch and bear high hug. Crotch. All right there, you guys go out. You can tell you guys are rough. You can tell this yeah. is different, man. You guys are like two bulls in a china shop going at it, man. Had you wrestled um, Kidwell before? This, this match? I wrestled, yeah, I wrestled about 13 times. I never beat him. Oh, did you? So you guys knew each other pretty good then, huh? Yeah, he used to throw headlocks on me for forever. And uh, mm -hmm. I got in the county tournament, and he just got back from the state championship football. He was out of state. I took that like five times, and they said we was out of bounds. He beat me on a, a, a criteria. He had to... He had the first takedown, and he beat me in overtime. Oh, did he really? But he really, really, I had the first five. There it is. There you go. You get – oh, oh, come on, Mr. Official. That's two. That, come on, Mr. Official. That's two right there. I'd yeah, call, I you, you guys know I officiate. I'd call two right there. 
I don't even remember that. I remember now uh, seeing it again. I did get them. Yeah, no, you. That was that was two. That was a takedown. He caught it. I I can't think of the name of that referee. Uh, he refereed all the heavyweight matches. That was his last. That was his last match. He retired after that. Oh, we'll have to we'll have to look him up and see if we can. Uh, hang on a second. Actually, I think I have the the list of the officials yeah. from that year. Let hey, me look real he, quick. He gave me that two points. Look, he's down. Oh they yeah, I guess he, uh, was it um was it Never Gary been. Ingram? It might have been Ingram, yeah. Gary Ingram, Don Salyers, Alan Martin, Don Colston, Mark Hill, and Gene Washington officiated this state tournament. Yeah, that's Al uh, I think Alan's the second guy. Okay. And, and the Alan, older guy. Alan still officiates with us. You know that? Yeah, I've seen, I seen him in the youth. Yep. Think, yeah. No, when, when you're on top here, are you just trying to break him down, put the half in? What are we looking to do here? Just break him, him down. I couldn't keep him down. He hits yep. his head on the mat right there. He's actually on top, but I still – Still got his hands, and they called it a. They called it. I still had to throw, even though I was yeah. on my back, out of bounds. You know that it's, that was that was a tough call right there. It, it's a tough. Yeah, could have uh, went either way right there. And from the looks of it, I bet it's about a thousand degrees inside that gym, ain't it? Yeah, I like Atherton. It was close quarters, and it just, the crowd really helped you out during the oh, match. Yeah. Yep. And of course, you know how it is. Everybody wants to watch the heavyweights. You know, everybody wants to watch the heavyweight boxing championship. Everybody wants to watch the heavyweight wrestling championship. You know, you guys draw a crowd. Yeah. You just do. So I guess you would have been a, a senior here when Mike Tyson was the man, wouldn't you? Yeah. 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 He's hard to keep down. I thought, I think they got stalling. Yep, stalling. they got him for stalling right there. That's a good. That's a good call. So the uh, when when you're in overtime here, uh, most of your of your better heavyweights don't usually have to go to overtime. They can usually get a pin or they're good enough to beat somebody in regulation. What Were you just like running on instinct here? Did you have a pretty good um, endurance build up over the season? Or I have pretty good endurance, yeah. There it is. There it is. You get another takedown? Yeah. Man, you're – not a lot of people mention your match, I guess, just because or your career, just because you know the video wasn't out there. For, but after people see this, people's gonna be talking about you, just how good you were. All right, I tell you what, the poor man was the one, Glenn Washburn. He's yeah. my teammate. He was a. Um, that's, now, that's where he snapped his head on the mat. That's why I was going to ask you, did. Did the, uh, they start injury time, right? Yeah, uh-huh. Okay, that's what I thought. So right here they're cleaning up the mat, trying to get him all toweled off and everything. So I guess it was kind of good, though, for you to get a little bit of a break, wasn't it? Yeah, I wasn't tired. We, we was in good shape, man. Super hard, super yeah. hard. Coach King was rough, man. I think uh, didn't didn't Todd King win it in '84? I believe. Is yeah, that, he won right about that. '84 and five, maybe. So he's got your leg right there, and you do a really good job of not going to your back right there. You've done an excellent job. I was going to commend you on just being able to roll through that. Because he's a big dude too, you, you know, two big guys yeah. out there. Yeah, he was six two, six three, about seventy five. 
And you said you're probably what about five ten, five eleven here, or something yeah, like that. Five, 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 two, 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 twenty. Uh, two, 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 two. I got you. Yeah. And you would just watch Dominic Black come out and put on a takedown clinic if you remember. Oh yeah, well, I, I got it mixed up with ADA. Yeah. 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 Dominic Dominic's my buddy. I, I got to meet Dominic and do a review video with him in person. You know, he uh he was a he was a machine. Yeah, he was nice, man. Yeah, smooth double A. Oh yeah. And we recently just done a video with the 98-pound state champion from 87 from Simon Kitten, uh, Jeff Everman. You remember Jeff? Yeah, Everman. Yeah. Yeah. And right there, that's the end of the match. The Fern Creek yeah. crowd's going crazy. Look at all those <laughs> people there for you, man. Yeah. That was awesome. Man. Oh, yeah. So you get your hand raised. You go over oh, here yeah. to the edge of the mat and get your uh, get your photo taken. Yes, sir. Uh, that had to be miserable to wrestle all that time and then go over and get a photo taken. I'd say, you know what? You can have your photo. Yeah. So there you are, man. This guy right here is a beast. Picks you up like it ain't nothing, man. Yeah. My that coach, guy was strong. Yeah, Coach Rick. He's and, my history. Also. Of course, there, there's uh, Roger Holloway and Dominic getting their medals. And, of course, you guys uh -huh. are up next, the heavyweights. And the um, – right there getting, the, I believe, fourth place. Because back then, they only placed out to four at the state tournament. Yes, sir. So And um, so you come off the mat, you're you got to be dead tired, your body's got to be fatigued, but you got to be on cloud nine, right? Yes, sir. I was on cloud nine. I can, like I can believe that. And there, there you are getting high five from whoever got fourth That's place 40 that year. Sim. 40 Sim or four. 40 okay. Sim. Yeah, he wrestled at more, man. <laughs> he beat he beat kid well the week before the state. Oh, did he, he really? Beat, he beat him in the regional finals. I can't believe it. The wow. next morning, and yeah. There you are uh, putting on your uh, your Fern Creek Fern. Letterman jacket. There, yes, sir. Those are sharp. I gotta give you that, man. That's a sharp jacket. That thing was old. Them High King wore those in eighty. Yeah, <laughs> eighty five. And yeah, that, that guy beat me about 13, 14 times. And took me there. There you long. are, man. You can you can tell you guys are war slap dab out. Yeah, it was rough. Yeah. Still got that bracket. Yeah, I got all my brackets. Oh, do framed. you really? They all framed. If you wanna... You'll have to send me some photos. You'll have to text me some photos so I can put them in your video. Yeah, I do that. I do that. Because people love to see that kind of stuff. And there you are. You hold your head back, man. You can just tell you're trying to get some air in the body. I couldn't believe I won. I just, yeah, yeah I, you know, I fell in love with my freshman year. And this is a video. This is a shot of all the state champions that year. So there's Jeff Everman, uh, Chuck Reimer, Chuck uh, Reimer, Blaine Hedges. Yep. Of course, there you are yeah, beside Brian. Dominic. Yeah. Was that Omen? Yeah, uh, yeah uh, Mark Omen. Yeah. Right there in, uh, the, in the Trinity, 126 pounds. And that's where this 1987 video ends. So, Mr. Woodford, watching it back, it's been a while since you've seen it. It's been, what, 35, 36 years since it happened. Does it play out yes. the way you remember it? Yeah, but I I forgot that that one takedown where I threw him down and jumped on him. I I forgot it. Yeah, but, uh, I got tape somewhere. I'm gonna find it. <laughs> yeah, well, the the good thing is is you'll have this video forever. It'll you know I'll, of course you'll have it on YouTube and I'll send you a copy and all that. But you know it's great that we were able to to get the copy so everybody all the Fern Creek guys can see it and everybody that 
you know, knows you and remembers you wrestling. And even now the youngsters coming up in school, you know, they can watch it and be like, I want to wrestle Mr. Woodford. Bring him on. Bring him on out. You know what I'm saying? Maybe <laughs> maybe this year at the state tournament we can set up a uh, a uh, over 50 crowd and an under uh, 18 crowd to wrestle each other. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> no, I get it. What's so, the, go ahead. I'm sorry. What's the one referee's name still wrestling? I just uh, uh, Alan Martin. No, he's actually still wrestling. Uh, he's like oh 60. Joe Catan. Catan. I I took yeah. him a load of rock. I got dump truck business. Uh -huh. I took him a load of rock. He built a pole barn and he's got a wrestling area. He's got an old Fern Creek mat he bought from Fern Creek where he practices wrestling there. So he's still going to Poland, wrestling overseas. Yeah. Oh, he's he looks good for 60 some years old. Yeah, he, he uh, uh he yeah. Joe still Joe still competes pretty regular. Um and he still, you know, is active. He does college officiating and as well as high school. So yeah, Joe's pretty active. He um I think I if I'm not mistaken, you did you're right. I, he he did go somewhere in Europe this year and I think he made like, I think he medaled at the tournament this year. He went to overseas in Europe. So still, you know, still yeah. got it going on. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. He's nice and, to be at. I, I don't, I wouldn't dare go wrestle right now. I love oh, it. Like, I believe you. I believe you can do it. Get a, get a few minutes out of you at least. Right. Yes, sir. I'm going to need an ice bath after that though. <laughs> hey, we, we can play make that happen. So guys, that's all that we have for Mr. Woodford's 1987. Be sure to watch his 1988 video. We're going to end this one here. We'll see you in 1988.